Jesus. It's been eight days. They've had no supplies yet. Over 200 missing. Then some people see there died at the back. <laughs> I'm just tearing up. <laughs> What you're about to see in this video, just keep an open mind and also try to put yourself in these people's shoes for what you're about to see. It may look really desperate or chaotic at times, but after talking to them and spending the day with them, it is understandable. So I want you to think about that when you see this video. I'll be even tearing up when I say this one. Holy moly. This was one of, if not the saddest day I've had here in the Philippines. Big day ahead of us. We're gonna do a relief aid to buy a city, which is the worst hit in all of Negros, a lot of casualties. We're outside Hypermart, gonna pick up some food, probably not sure if there's rice available, it's sold out in Dawen, so maybe corn and water, of course. Okay, we just picked up 100 kilos of rice! Whoa! <laughs> I've never bought this much rice before. But we have a huge problem guys, there's no water for sale. So we're going to some of the refill stations now in search. Uh, I know the refill stations have water, but it's about transporting them over to buy a city. So bottles. Did you see what I see Finn? The car in front of us has a full box of clothes. Definitely a relief aid, probably going to buy us. So the biggest problem right now is finding water but we found this uh, local Sari Sari store and we're gonna empty the tunas, canned food if we get some water here Is this available? Julia? Yeah, this one is ready to... We can get that one? Yeah Okay The guys are filling up I do you missed it. For the first time in my life, I got to go like this. The whole shelf. Still more. I put those back because they're too expensive. <laughs> I was like, never mind. <laughs> oh, it's a spicy one. Yeah. yeah, they're like triple price. They're delicious, man. So there's Robert's car. They got some supplies. Mark's car. And Patrick. We got a few hundred kilos of food. And the only rice we found was in Hypermart. This is a uh, corn. Most of the uh, rice is done in uh, Dawen. This is not much water, guys, but that's uh, the only thing we can find. Someone donated these uh, three bottles here. There's another car full of supplies, water, lots of nature spring there, and some bags. We're almost a buy city. This is all aid, guys. See that guy? Someone threw money there from the bus. This is Ground Zero, Negros Island. Jesus. Look, everybody's asking for money. That's so sad. This is so sad. This is seven or eight days after the typhoon, guys. I mean, this is just shocking. Yeah. 
Yes, there we go. That's good. That's we good. have sock cones. Yeah. Yeah. We have yeah. sock cones. Yeah. Here, here. Oh, nice. Can't help everybody, but helping Solis just really brings up. Oh my god. Oh, I can't do this big right now. It's really uh, hard to see. Oh my goodness. We'll see you guys in a second. See you guys, there's still so much mud. Late is all it. Did all of this flood above here? Yeah. And the water came from the river. So the river brought the flooding, huh? Wow. How high did it go up, the water? To here? Yeah. Above these houses. Jesus. Yeah, you can tell, guys. It was here. Yeah, 200 people missing still. Yes. My house. Where's your house there? This one there. So, so sorry. Nothing has survived. Nothing. Nothing here. Everybody okay? Back in the water. Oh yeah, that's not safe, huh? You don't want to drive here. That is very unsafe. This is Brian, by the way, guys. We've never met before. Just one of Filipino hospital friendly people and he's showing me around here. It's been eight days. They've had no supplies yet. This area behind the bridge because they don't want to drive the trucks. And their only source of food right now is bananas and coconut. coconut, of course. Huge problem with water. You need water, huh? Yes. We can We could not find any water in Dumaguete, Darwin. We need plastic cans to fill them up. That's a problem. Jesus. How high do you think the water was? Like the banana? Yes, like a banana. That's how high it was? Like a uh, house. Above that house? Oh my god. That's so high. This one. There's uh, one house. Right there. <laughs> uh, mango tree. Yeah. They're very weak. Oh, that, that, that one, yeah, yeah. So. There's a mini house here. This one. Oh one, my two. god. Can't even see them. They're just buried. Mm. Then some people just stay in the highest house. I know, yeah. That's, uh, yeah, they have a cement hollow blocks there on the bottom. Thank God. How do you know the numbers of people? They, they started to, uh, the people missing now? They write everything down? Yes. Yes, yeah, that's what I thought. The Barangay captain listed uh, people. So over 200 missing. Over 200 missing. Then some people see there died <laughs> at the back. The people in the mountain see they're dead. They're the dead? dead? A body. Yeah. You had bodies here? Oh, many bodies in And this lagoon here? Oh, lagoon. Jesus. This is a sugar cane. Yeah. 
Mostly the damage is here, barangay. This, this is the most damaged mm -hmm. barangay in Bias. Is it 200 people missing from this barangay or all of Bias? Uh, or this area? This here? area, 50 plus. 50 plus. Some, some of missing yeah. little kids. Oh, I'm just tearing up. <laughs> the people, look at the people eating some foods. Struggle to get some food. You can't even see that, man. We can. We can. This okay, little. Okay. What are you You saw them on top. This little baby, they were there on the top. All families in the top. Jeez. Hello, ma'am. To survive. Hello, Kuya. You climb up for that. Oh, that. Oh. The safe house. How fast did the river start r rising up? Did you see that? Brian. Few seconds. Yes. That's how fast it happened. Almost ten seconds. The river is high. So it's a flash flood. Yes. And the people evacuate fast. Right. Go after the highest in the bridge. <laughs> it's amazing. These kids, they never get diseases. I don't know how but obviously everything is super contaminated right now. Jeez. That's a safe house right there. back home and I'm honestly emotionally mostly drained it was at I don't know what point but I just stopped recording I stopped everything I just so overwhelming uh, sorry about the uh, background noise everybody's cutting trees and branches shocking 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 speechless I've been, uh, I've been seeing what happened there. It's like it recalls my memories way back in 2011, which is a single. It's very similar. Like, uh, guys, there's over 250 people missing in that city. It's more like a town. It's not that many population there, and there's so many people missing compared to like Cagayan, which is mil over a million people. The numbers there were, were of course crazy 10 years ago, but compared to the size of this town, Bayes City, and the flooding happened in 10 seconds, they were saying, about 10 seconds. I, I really can't speak right now, but we're gonna do something special for Christmas. We're gonna have no Christmas, Tomorrow is 23rd December, we're gonna buy a lot more supplies and go bring it on Christmas day to that one barangay across the bridge. So what has happened now is most of the supplies stop at the bridge. So if you're not there waiting for supplies to come, they would miss opportunity to get food or water. 
So they were saying for the last seven or eight days, they basically got nothing. They're only eating their bananas and coconuts right now. So we're gonna try to go back there and distribute it only to that barangay across the bridge. And we got two contacts that are gonna help us with that mission on Christmas day. So tomorrow morning, we're going back to Dao and Bakonga. We have to be searching for food. Uh, go to the supermarket. Supermarket maybe, more, yeah. More cheaper. So if you wanna help Sherilyn's GCAS this year, also her PayPal, do you have PayPal? Okay, so we have GCAS and PayPal. If you wanna help with this beautiful Christmas. You guys have helped us already so much with Alex, so of course continue that project. But this is like next level stuff. And thank you so much for everyone who are gonna be supporting for this. And this kind of feeling like, you know, like we are feel like blessed like nothing happened to us but upon seeing there it's like crazy like christmas is coming soon and they're gonna have a christmas with this kind of situation so it's christmas kind of without food and water oh yeah and electricity when, of over bringing candles candles when i was there um, when i was distributing the the rice they said mom water 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 we want water water it's like oh it really hurts me like Wow, these people really need something. That's it guys.